Thales of Miletus was a Greek philosopher born in about 623 BC. He was one of the so-called Seven Sages of Ancient Greece and his interests ranged across philosophy, history, science, mathematics, engineering, geography and politics. Instead of resorting to supernatural beliefs, Thales put forward practical, rational explanations for events that he observed in nature. He founded the Malaysian School of Natural Philosophy and is the first person we know of for sure in Western civilization who had a scientific approach to answering questions. Thales liked to travel. On one of his journeys he went to Egypt to see the pyramids. These had been built at least 2,000 years before Thales was born, so they were an ancient tourist attraction even by his time. Like many tourists, Thales wanted to know the height of the Great Pyramid. He couldn't find anyone who knew the answer, so he figured it out for himself. So how could you measure the height of the Great Pyramid in the 6th century BC? Researchers think that Thales did it using a method that involved similar triangles. These are triangles with the same shape but different size. Their corresponding angles are the same, and although their corresponding sides are different in length, the proportion of the sides are the same. Now let's look how Thales may have carried out his measurement. One possibility to find the pyramid's height is that he pushed a stick part way into the ground so that it stood straight up. He carefully measured the stick's height and the length of the stick's shadow. Then he measured the Great Pyramid's shadow. He'd formed similar triangles because their corresponding angles were the same. Therefore, the ratio of the pyramid's height to the stick's height was equal to the ratio of half the length of the pyramid's base plus the length of the pyramid's shadow to the length of the stick's shadow. After a simple calculation, he found the pyramid's height to be in modern units 146.5 meters or 481 feet, which at the time would have been correct. Today, the Great Pyramid is only 138.8 meters or 455 feet high because of erosion. Later, the philosopher Plutarch wrote about this incident. Although the king of Egypt admired Thales for many things, he particularly liked the way in which he measured the height of the pyramid without any trouble and instrument. Thales set up a stick at the tip of the shadow cast by the pyramid, and thus having two triangles by the sun's rays, he showed that the ratio of the pyramid to the stick is the same as the ratio of the respective shadows. So, you don't need an incredibly long tape measure to find the height of very tall things. Just a stick, a ruler, and a bit of ingenuity. <laughs>